Alright, let's continue with the plot. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure it'll they'll send us back to it. Probably it's probably disabled because there's like plot stuff happening. Anyway, uh right, we're headed back to the massage parlor. <laughs> I mean, you know, stopping to help basically uh what's your story? Here? Telephone card collector. Ah. Oh. Just collect it myself, but it's a card for the first time, just kinda of lose all interest to it. Oh, okay, so we can show this to our collection. Nice. Oh. Don't bother with incomplete sets though, yeah? Only full three card sets really do it for me. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so we we show this guy our card sets. So this is a different guy than the walking erection dude who we show our cards to, and he just wants to see them. You know what? Why not? Have a look. <laughs> and he's giving us 5 million yen for that. <laughs> uh, what is this goddamn game? I, I, I've said that like a hundred times now, but holy shit. <laughs> this dude is giving us millions of yen to look at sets of telephone cards. Not to have them, just to look at them. <laughs> oh, man. Like, to have this much discretionary income. <laughs> wow, we just got 20 million yen off this dude. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like... It's not just fun to stop and help people. It's wildly, it's weirdly practical. Like, just stop whatever serious Yakuza business you're doing and go help someone out. And I think that's the real message of this game. Just don't be too wrapped up trying to stop yourself from losing a finger or your friend slash mentor from getting killed by the Yakuza. What was that? Kono's Meats, huh? That's a Club Mars area business. Oh, I can... Oh, I can partner with them. Okay. You know what? Why not? Yay! Yay. Partnered up. We got more fans in this area now. <laughs> I thought I heard the chime, too. Oh, wait, no. That's, that's the plot chime. Never mind. This game is murdering my ability to concentrate. But yeah, the moral of the story is always stop and help people. You never know when they're going to give you a fuck ton of money. Yeah, seriously. Okay, what crazy scheme do you have today? Oh boy. Someone killed her. The dude he was planning on killing. お前やったやろ。あの写真の女。今日未明、総天堀川で発見された若い女性の遺体は身につけていた衣類などから牧村誠さん二十歳とみられます。遺体は損傷が激しく。Lee is a lot of things, I must say. But hey, Newman, good to see you. Welcome aboard. Hey, thanks for the follow. Okay, so someone else executed on this crazy plan of Lee's, and. You know, it's whoever that fished the outfit out of the trash behind him was. Huh? And it's for Majima. Oh my dear. <laughs> Called it. I'm 
from the future. <笑>あんたと。あんたの店で飲ましてもろてんねん。お前。グランドに。いや、もう<笑><笑><笑> Okay, so, huh, all right, so that's the end of chapter seven. So we have ourselves a new challenger, and God only knows what he wants. <laughs> uh, worth three times 10 million TV anime production costs. Hmm, interesting. I, I wonder what that's about at the bottom, because that's come up before, like worth five, like, uh, five million dollar cars or something. Or a million yen cars or whatever. But anyway, yes. Welcome to the channel. Uh, here and tonight on Yakuza 0, things are... Well, things never stop being real, but they keep getting more and more real from each chapter. God only knows what's going to happen now. What <laughs> That's what I say every time. Every time. おい、どういうことや、マジマ。さっきの電話のとこ、多分あいつは俺が捨てたもん拾ったんや。公園のゴミ箱から。ああ。俺があんたから取った北斜海館の制服、身代わりにするつもりやった女の写真、俺がそれ
you know, I, I guess Kiryu had a random quest pop up when he went to go save once. Might as well happen to Majima as well. Yeah, you'll note he's basically treating the girl like that first customer did, the one that uh, Majiba basically dodge fought his way around. So, presumably, he is of the wealth and status where that's not an issue. Or he's a lot less drunk. Okay, so the dude wanted to speak with us. Who are you and what do you want from me? Yeah. With me. Huh? You just said you wanted to talk to me. Didn't have to be you. Anyone who picked up the phone would have been fine. But in the end, you were the one who answered. That's fate, I tell you. No doubt about it. Oh, God. Huh? They have telephone clubs for this kind of thing. I ain't in the mood to get sweet-talked here. You rejected me already? At least hear me out first. Oh, God. Is this Jigsaw? Did we walk into a torture puzzle? Ah. Just bring me the item I asked for. What did you what do you say? Page 413 of the phone book. The phone book under the phone. Open it up. Okay, so we got a hundred thousand yen. Whoa. If you win the game, I'll pay you an even bigger reward. You in the habit of leaving that much cash in a phone book anybody can thumb through? You're a real nutter. I like that. I'll play your game. Really? Great, I appreciate it. Saves me the trouble of detonating the bomb I planted in the phone booth in case you turn me down. Yep, yep, here we go. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you believe me or not, I don't need a trick huh? anymore. Crazy fuck. Well, what does he want me to get for this game of yours? Starters, how about you bring me a 9mm automatic pistol? Yeah, so it happens I have one. Yep, <laughs> Goddamn gun, what the hell are you gonna do with that? Oh, I wouldn't concern yourself with what I need yeah. it for. I'm only interested in seeing if you can procure one. <laughs> I ain't a fan of getting put into the t put to the test, but I can score that for you, no problem. Have the cash ready. <laughs> okay, so happens we have one. So, what the hell? Why not give this man his little, uh, present? Yeah, it's been a whole it's been a whole t ten seconds. Ah. Excellent. Leave it in the phone booth, please. Yeah, let, let's leave a fucking handgun in a ah. phone booth. That definitely won't be a problem. Yeah, ah. Your turn to follow through. If there's no reward. I can take this right back to where I got it. Page three fifteen. The phone booth. Oh, come on, buddy. You know, a dude gave me 5 million yen for showing him three idol cards. You gave me 200,000 yeah. for a handgun? <sighs> Fuck you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Fucking cheap-ass budget jigsaw here. Oh. Chinese broadsword? <laughs> <laughs> Simon, huh? Oh, great. Suddenly we wandered into Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yeah, seriously. Thumb through the book and just take the money. In fact, like... How do you guarantee that people don't just, like... Like, what would happen if somebody just happened to flip to page 315 before picking up the phone and just took the money? I would actually like to see a movie based on that concept, where someone sets up some kind of, like, elaborate puzzle or death trap or something, and it just gets foiled completely by some random person. And no matter how many times they try to trick them into playing some elaborate game, it never takes. Oh, hang on a second. Too busy. Fuck off. That is kind of weirdly satisfying. Here we go. Here's the big money. But yeah, I, I'd like to see, like, some really complicated plan. A Swiss watch, nice. Really complicated plan foiled by some com someone completely ignorant of the plan. 
And no matter how hard they try to get the whole thing back on track, it just keeps getting undone by just some very curious rando. Oh, yep. A little too slow on the draw there, that's okay. I'm gonna use the money I get from these guys to pay off the next set of hooligans. You know, I'm starting to think that the Japan of the Yakuza games is basically Gensekyo, in that pe when people fight, they're not really fighting. It's essentially a contest of will, and at the end of it, everybody just, like, wanders off, more or less. Like, it's, it's actually really structured, and there's, like, an agreed-upon system of rules and restrictions, so even when they're using seemingly lethal moves, Nobody is actually killing each other. Okay, see, now we're talking. We got nunchucks. Man, Europe was way better. Actually, I think that was, uh, the UK. Alas, I cannot just buy a Chinese broadsword yet, so we're going to have to... We'll have to put on hold Mystery Man's, uh, requests for now. I don't suppose we can make one. Yep, yeah, no, we can't. Yeah, information for for subscribers is limited to their Twitch name, basically. What's this? Okay, is this a side quest thing or is this a mini game thing? All right, Majima's hungry. He wants stuff. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Uh oh. Whoa! The Obatarian strikes. Did she seriously just cut in line? That ain't right. What? Hey, lady, no cuts. Get in line like a normal person. Oh. You weren't even in the line. Come on, lady. Get your eyes checked lately. I was standing right there. I got one more eye than you, Sonny. If anyone ain't seeing things straight, it's you. <laughs> Stubborn old hag. Hey, come on. Can you take this elsewhere? I'm trying to run a business here. <sighs> See, you went and got us scolded. How embarrassing. If you weren't trying to cut, this never would have happened. Ooh, so scary. This old bat's a real pain. What's my move here? Yeah, you figure we've got a woman in a tiger shirt with purple hair. Like, that's... There's a lot to unpack here. Um, uh, not sure what we should do here. Should we push her out of the way? Do we establish dominance, or do we let her have the spot? I feel like if we try to establish dominance, it's going to backfire somehow. On the other hand, this is not Nom, Smokey. There are rules. Yeah, I, I think we should, uh, I think we need to hold our ground here. Let's do it. She ain't going to see reason. Better just relocate her. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Well, you cut in line, and then you refuse to move. Pervert! Oh, shit. God damn it. Huh? I wouldn't touch you with a cattle prod. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> What's a pervert? Don't point, Hiro-kun. You don't want anything to do with this horrible man. Yeah. yeah, this is what I was afraid would happen. Either that, or she was going to turn out to secretly be a badass and, like pull out a mace or something and choke me. Either the spray kind or the medieval kind. <sighs> eh, treacherous old dingbat. Wait, what? what the... Where do you think you're going? Man, I'd drop it if I were you. She's a pretty infamous obitarian in these parts. Oh. You ever heard of an old lady called an Obasan? Well, she's like that, multiplied by a tank battalion. Hence, Obatarian. That battle axe has never been as sharp or as deadly as her. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to get involved. Underestimate the Osaka and Obatarian at your, at your peril. The Obatarian, huh? You'll get yours next time, lady. Got it, yeah, that makes sense, thanks. Okay, now we literally walk down the street and our order is ready. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, yeah, anyway, we've just met our arch nemesis. Like, forget Kiryu, that woman is going to be a priority target. What's this? Uh, ooh, ramen. You know what, I might as well stop and get something. Completely forgot to food up there, thanks to the Ovatarian. Let us get some food. Exactly, yeah. Now we gotta, we gotta eat up. In this restaurant that looks like some kind of... Like, medical quarantine tent or something. Yeah, it, it's... It strikes at the weirdest time, too. Like, there's this one cutscene in Endwalker where they're... Like, the gang's all having a meal around a dinner table, and they're just doing a long pan over the food. And it's like 2 in the morning when I got no, to this thing, so I'm like, oh man, you're gonna, you're gonna hit me with that now? Ugh, that was mean. Okay, we're seeing these guys again. Patriot. Okay, so he is the guy that's been sending the Yakuza thugs after her. Oh, thanks, Kirby. Okay. So this patriarch has the place to himself, huh? Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> That'll do, beggar. That'll do nicely. Alright, well the dude can do math quickly. あんたが真面目くんかいな。あ、<笑> Yeah, very impressive, sir, but I made, like, ten times that just from a random encounter. So how about you fuck off? わしらの会話。あんたも他のもんに聞かれたないやろと思ってな。人払いしといたんや。これでも気ぃ使うてるんやで。まあまあ、座ったら。たまにはへへ。わじゃな。<笑> Hmm. 
been a while since we've been introduced to someone new. うちの若いもんがまことちゃんさらいにハリシンとこ行ったやろ。せやけどあんたが手に負えん言うてな。結局わしが出てこなあかんようになってもうた。お前があの盆倉どもの頭ちゅうは。あれ、you そんなあんたが女一人殺すんでえらい困っとるが。もう見てられへんで。かわいそうにな。何言うとるんや。まあ、カリカリせんと聞いて。わしらが欲しいわ。まことちゃんの命やない。あの子とちゃん。とお話
Alright, you all worked up? Good, I got something long and hard for you right here! Ha-ha! Come here. I'm just getting warmed up. Yeah, he's playing dead. Second I get close, he's gonna get up. Assuming he's not already up. Ho-ho! A lot of guys are really weak to this, uh, bat nunchuck thing. Oop. Quick time. Damn. The fuck was that all about? Damn it. Ah, fuck. I got B and A mixed up. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, all this is foreplay, basically. Oh, shit! Ow! Okay, he stabs me in the heart. Ow! Miraculously, that doesn't do that much damage. Yeah, this is literally knife versus bat. Yeah. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> it would be funny if he stabbed you and it like came back with money instead. Just all the cash on you is treated as a physical object. This guy's real good at dodging, so I'm gonna have to get him to overcommit. Ah, fuck! Yeah, seriously, that's a stab in the chest, and it didn't really do that much damage. I mean, even if he's not missing your heart, that's gonna be a bad time. There we go. Oh, yeah, now we're... Oh. Shifty little fuck, ain't ya? Will do. It's about time to refill my drink anyway. You know, it always makes me wonder, like, if there's some emergency room somewhere, and I, I saw a video about this where, like, some, some martial arts guy and some, like, medical expert were analyzing the finishing moves of this game, and it, it, it made me wonder, like, if there's ever been a case where, it's like, some hospital had a whole bunch of guys in suits show up with, like, a whole bunch of, like, stab and, and like, bad injuries, just a whole bunch of bruises and broken bones, and just wonder what the fuck happened to these guys. Yeah, he, he's doing some kind of, like, play dead move, and trying to bait me into attacking him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Uh, what's the matter? You going soft on me? Come on! Ah, 
Don't start what you can't finish, bitch! No more Mr. Knife Guy! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. You wouldn't get those guys going to, like, a regular emergency room. Presumably, they have their own crime doctors to work on this. If I pay you guys enough, can you just shoot this guy? Oh, God. <sighs> this dude is actually greasier than the Mr. Moneybags guy. I know, just... Man. Kashikiri <sighs> あんなにお金いただいてるのにもうええから。お前は札のお手仕掛け。他の者には開店準備させろ。今から通常営業へ。お、お、わかりました。準備できしだい店を開けます。支配人はそれまでどうされてます。せやな。店開くまで事務所にお
お前さなんでわざわざ死体の顔つぶしたのそのくせ死体には女の働き先の服着せたままだ死体の身元隠してえのか隠したくねえのかよくわからねえじゃねえか妙だよな人を殺したんは初めてやったんや自分でもよう覚えとらん気が動転してたってはあまあそういうこともあるのかなどうでもええやろそれよりももう仕事は済んだんやこれで登場会に戻れるっちゅう約束やったでえへ島野の親父が仕事をしてくれるんやろな,るんやろなその前にもう一つ聞きて、yeah, now that we're all prepared for killing, it should be easy now. お前あいつと何もめてたんだあいつは西谷って男でなあれでも俺と同じ近江連合の実産だ。基人会ってな。近江連合のああ、近江の中にもいろいろあるがよ。基人会は他の誰ともつるまねえ跳ね返りだ。どこの縄張りだろうと好き勝手やらかす。蒼天堀のトラブルメーカーってやつだ。ま、俺は嫌いじゃねえよ。ただ、その基人会がなんでお前にちょっかい出してきてんだ連中と何があった I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. 店の中で暴れただけや。ええー、酒飲み慣れてなかったんとちゃうかそっか。まあ、西谷のやりそうなことではあるか。ならいいんだ。ただ、この前からお前の動きが妙でさ。なんか俺に隠してるんじゃねえかと思ってね。何を隠してるっちゅうんや。ふふ。気がつくんなよ。そうだよな。お前が俺に隠し事なんかできるわけがねえ。もしそんなことすりゃ、どうなるか身にしみてわかってるはずだもんな。よし。そんじゃ島野の兄弟とはなしつけとくからよ。それまでしっかりこの店儲けさせてくれや。な。Yeah, I'll bet you are, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, he didn't. He was not buying that for a second. Yeah, slowly and extensively, with the nearest rusted sharp object we've got on hand. Alright, well, the club's had time to fill in again. Actually, gotta think of it. Because they let you walk around and stuff. I'm wondering if there's, like, side quests here in the club we could do. Maybe not, I don't see anything. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. How's everyone doing? Y'all having a good time? No one else picking up any fights? This guy looks like trouble. Alright, nothing there. Nope. Looks like just another night at the Grand. Nobody really commenting on the crazy, psychotically horny dude we were just fighting with. I mean, you know, they weren't there, but presumably. Presumably, word would get around about this. Girls in cute, slightly lewd dresses. Yes, exactly. Which, you know, this is important. An absolutely critical, essential part to a Yakuza, Yakuza game. Oh, God, now what? What? Johnson, the Yamishoko. Lisa, the Goni, you do. I was hoping you might know. I was hoping you might know. I was hoping you 
Yeah, I didn't mean to make him go through his whole stock, but we did get into a fight. It's a long story. リサンドコ。落ち着けや。ちょうどリート話そう思うとったとこや。分かった。そしたら俺がついでに届けたる。あんた、今薬持っとんか。あ、あるよ。痛み止めの薬、これね。でも急いであげないと薬切れると打たれ
Ah. Oh. Okay, that cost me. Ah, uh. oh, motherfucker! He shook me down for thirteen million yen. You <laughs> bag of dicks. Work on my fighting skills and come back to shake down, Mr. Shakedown. God damn. Yeah, well, the problem there is he was starting to dodge my shotgun rounds. And that's a problem. Because that, uh, that was my strategy. Clearly, I had to diversify. It was almost working. I just ran out of healing items. Yeah, the problem was I just let him hit me too many too often. Okay. Okay, so we did get another handgun. That's good. Broken M1985, huh? Okay. What was the What was that broken M1985? I feel like that was a shotgun. Yes. Ho 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 ho! Oh, we're short one item, but we can actually make a real ass shotgun. Oh man. So what do we need? We still need crafting items. Hmm. It'd be nice if you could tell me what those items were. All right, we'll send another one out. Yeah, we gotta give him some question marks. Uh, yeah, but I gotta... I gotta hit a store and uh, buy some healing items. The nearest one is... That's right down there. Excellent. Sorry, sorry. You got between me and the store. Hey, buddy. It's been a rough night. What do you have when you have to fight Mr. X? A little health. Alright, we'll just buy a whole bunch of these. Not ideal, but it'll have to do. We got a date with Destiny. By Destiny, my, my fist has a date with that old lady that keeps getting in line. And I'd hate to disappoint her. Actually, you should probably heal up first. Get the feeling this is going to turn into a fight. Oop. Million yen vending machine, don't mind if I do. A pearl. Interesting. Oop, sorry. Uh, what's your story? Hello? Okay, nice pan up, but that hand not- that fist not quite on the hip is throwing me off. Ooh, hey, I can recruit her. Nice. Hey, this may sound nuts, but what would you say to a job at a cabaret club? If you give me a present, I'll think about it. Okay. A purse would be nice. If you could buy me a designer brand name purse, I'll be happy to work for you. Okay, I'm not going to mess around. I'll have to buy one of them boutiques and give it to her as a present. Uh, not just yet. We'll want to get some... Um, we'll, we will go see if we can get her a designer purse. Is there a store we can go to? Okay, not the drugstore. Discount store. Nationwide convenience store. Where's a man go to get a purse around these parts? I think probably there. Yeah, we'll try the uh, store down here. Also, I want to hit the pawn shop and sell some stuff. Possibly, yeah. I don't know. Damn it! Too slow on the draw with the. Uh, too slow on the draw with the uh, cash. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you may want to get ready, Ivory. We're about to recruit a woman with a purse. 
which I believe is down this way. The March. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking to recruit a nice young lady to my cabaret club, and I've been told that a purse is a good way to ply her. What would you recommend? All right. Okay, Italian shoulder bag, French handbag. Uh, let's see. Shit. I feel like I should probably just buy them all and just give her whichever one. What's most expensive? Yeah, you're probably right. You know what? I'll buy both of them. Why not? I got the money. Yeah, it's probably the French one. Alright, out we go. Uh, right, pawn shop was right here. Alright. Back to ply the woman with material goods. So she can get involved with a cabaret run by organized crime. Damn it, I pressed X that time. I don't know what happened. Are these the same guys? Okay. Thank you, fellas. You just bought this nice young lady a purse. That would actually be great if that's what it was. That, like, you had to not just buy a purse, but had to look for something that specifically went with her outfit. Alright. French handbag. Here you go. Yay! Yay! There we go. Nice to meet you, Harumi. You recruited Harumi. Excellent. Alright. Recruited a new girl. We've got some pretty good girls in our lineup right now. I'm going to have to up my club management here. You know what? Why not? We'll stop there. We'll play a round of, uh... Silver? Ah, damn. Yeah, that figures. We'll probably have to spend a bit more for that. For platinum.